Today, I'm hosting the past and present Euros, which means before every fixture, this wheel will be spun to decide in which game the match will take place, starting from FIFA 2001 all the way to FC24. Also, after speaking to UEFA's president, Alexander Seferin, he told me only 16 special nations have been invited to participate in this special tournament, which means they will be going straight to the knockouts. He did mention a few more things, but I'll tell you more about that later in the video. For now, let the games begin. And the first match of the past and present Euros will take place in FC24. And up first was Italy versus Romania. Here we go, Scamacca with a ball into Pellegrini. Pellegrini with a strike and what a save from the Romanian goalkeeper. But Italy still have the ball in the box. Chiesa into Scamacca and that is 1-0. The Italians have just taken the lead. Look at this press from the Italians. Uh-oh, this could end badly. If he does not clear that, and here we go, Chiesa with the ball into Skamaka. They have combined for that first goal, and now hold on a minute, Zakagni twisting, turning into Pellegrini. Uh, are you gonna do anything? What? What is he doing? What is he actually doing? Okay, I guess he was cooking. I'm not gonna lie, but can they cook anything from this corner? The ball into the box. Oh wow, Skamaka has just got himself a brace. I really wasn't expecting that. The Romanians did manage to get one back, but sadly for them, in the end, that was not enough. Which means Italy is our first nation to make it through to the quarterfinals. The wheel then landed on FIFA 10, where we saw France take on Greece. And I'm not gonna lie to you, this was the most boring game of the entire tournament. And if for any reason you think I'm lying, take a look at these halftime stats. And the second half was no different until the 90th minute. Hold on a minute. Anelka down the right-hand side. Can he create something here so that we don't have to go into extra time and potential penalties? They have got a 90th minute corner, but I'm not going to lie. After watching this whole game, this has got extra time and penalties written all over it, man. There's no way they score here. Eric Capital has just put the ball into the back of the net and France are through to the next round. We had FC24, we had FIFA 10, and now it's time for FIFA 23, where it was time for Spain versus Poland. Spain with a free kick. They take it quickly. Merino, Pedri, Pedri down the left hand side to Oyarzabal. Oyarzabal on the ball, twisting, turning, ball into the box. Morata, Aspas, and Spain have just taken the lead. That unselfish extra pass from Morata is what makes that goal so special. Now, how is Poland going to reply from that? Still Zalewski. Pulls it back. Lewandowski. Oh, hold on a minute. And they have actually just got one back. They did exactly what Spain did to them. Ball into the box, extra pass, and ball into the back of the net. But in the end, it was the Spanish substitute Borja Iglesias with the last say, which resulted in Spain securing a 2-1 win and a spot in the next round. Now, are we finally going to see one of the really old FIFAs on the wheel? Oh, I think we will because we're going back all the way to FIFA 04. And up next, we had England versus Croatia. 60 minutes on the clock and the score is still scoreless between these two nations. But now England are looking to create a potential attack here. Ball into the box and I believe that went off the creation. England have got a corner and they have none other than David Beckham standing over this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are we really going to watch it from here? What is this crazy angle? Take me back to FIFA 04. Ball into the box. Wait, what? How did that just go in? How did they give it to David Beckham? How is he claiming the goal? I need answers. Oh, it went off to creation. But the English weren't done there, as Owen doubled their lead in the 79th minute. And three minutes later, a young Wayne Rooney also got on the score sheet. And with a 3-0 win, England guaranteed themselves a spot in the next round. FIFA 19 was up next, where we saw Denmark take on Cristiano Ronaldo's Portugal. And it looks like Portugal are looking to create their first attack straight from kickoff. Ronaldo with the boy at his feet into William. William, deflection, falls to João Mario, and that is already 1 0 to Portugal. What a dream start for the Portuguese players. Back to Eriksen. Eriksen with a beautiful weighted through ball. Sisto down the left hand side, pulls it back. Delaney with a strike, but it just goes wide. That is a good response from Denmark. And now Denmark with a throw in. They go backwards, trying to recycle the ball, but that is intercepted by William. And now, if Portugal play this right, they could create a counter from this. Gonzalo Gedge out wide. 
Bernardo Silva. What's he going to do? Beautiful through ball to Ronaldo. Is he going to double their lead? Of course he does. It is none other than Cristiano Ronaldo. This is what he does. And Portugal have a very strong lead in this game now. And with the score staying that way, Portugal were also through to the next round. And up next, we have got FIFA 18, where it was time for a matchup between Germany and Turkey. Around 15 minutes left on the clock, the score is still no nil. Will one of these two teams find a way to score or are we going to have our first game go to extra time? Hold on a minute, that is a good interception by Gomez. I'm not sure what he's doing there, but well played from him. Ozil, back to Gomez. Gomez down the line. Here we go. Ball into the middle. Okay, Shaila into Boateng. What's he going to do? Finds his teammate and Ozil makes it 1-0. That is what I call German engineering. And it's looking like this is Turkey's last opportunity to create an attack. Arda, Turan, twisting, turning, lucky deflection. Here we go. They're working their way into the box. Nice set. What's he going to do? No way was that a shot. There's no way that was a shot, man. Mali, what are you doing? But thanks to Mali's miss, Germany went out one step closer to that trophy. After that, it was time for FIFA 07, where a single goal from Alexander Frey was enough to knock out the Belgians and put Switzerland through to the next round. And our last round of 16 match is going to be played in FIFA 09. And last but not least, fighting for the last spot in the quarterfinals, we've got Austria versus the Netherlands. And now 15 minutes left of this first half, both teams had good chances but no one is on the scoreboard yet unless Netherlands somehow create something here. Uh oh. Hold on a minute. Wait, that's offside, no? He wasn't offside? Mathieu, or however you say that guy's name, has just scored for the Netherlands. I'm so confused. How was that not offside? The Netherlands looking to double their lead somehow here. They are dispossessed, however, and now Austria could launch a counter-attack if they play this right. Ivan Sheets on the ball. What a name. What a burst of pace. Is he going to go all the way? Still, Ivan Sheets has a strike. And oh my goodness, what a solo goal we have just witnessed. What a run. What a strike. What a name. And now we've got around 13 minutes left of normal time for Austria to potentially complete this comeback if they play this right. Here we go. Ball over the top. Someone is in space, takes a touch, has a finish. Who was that? Oh my goodness, what a goal. Do not tell me it's him. Who else was it going to be other than Ivan Sheets? This guy is literally him. And thanks to that Ivan Sheets masterclass of a performance, Austria claimed the last ticket to the quarterfinals. And now this is where things get interesting because normal matches will no longer be played. From now on, every knockout stage will have its very own twist. Starting off with the penalty shootout round for the quarterfinals. And our first quarterfinal will be hosted in FC24. And up first was England versus Spain. Stepping up first, we have Spain's captain. Where's he going to go? Oh my, this guy actually penenkered it. Up next, England's number nine, Harry Kane. Oh, the keeper nearly got there. Fabian Ruiz up next for Spain. Great penalty. Bukayo Saka, Arsenal's penalty taker. There's no way he misses. He does not miss. Well, we're two for two so far. Can Daniel Mo keep up that streak? Wow, yes he can. Declan Rice up next. That's what I call a pen, man. Great, great, great finish. Rodrigo, Mr. 99 Composure. I'd be shocked if he misses. How did Pickford not save that? Are we going to finally see our first miss or save? No, apparently not. His team scored all five penalties and now Unai Simon has a chance to be the hero. Phil Foden versus Unai Simon. And he saves it. Spain are our first semi-finalist of the past and present heroes. And penalty shootout number two will be played in FIFA 13 where we had Italy taking on France. And with Valbuena skying his Panenka, France had only two pens converted after four shots. And now Claudio Marquisio has a chance to put his nation through to the semi-finals. And that's exactly what he does. Italy will be meeting Spain in our first semi-final. The wheel then landed on FIFA 06, where we had Portugal taking on Germany. Pauleta up first for Portugal. He chips it, what a way to start things off. And up next is Mr. 99 shot power, Lukas Podolski. Where's he gonna go? What the heck was that? Was that a chip? Luis Figo up next and surely we do not see another chip. That's what I call a penalty, man. Put your laces through and put it in a corner. Michael Balak, this guy knew how to strike a ball. I told you, great penalty. Deco is Portugal's next penalty taker. And it's been saved. 
Closer, Germany's all-time top scorer is up next. What is everyone's obsession with chipping it? Young CR7, was he Mr. Clutch at this age? Yes, he was. Oh my goodness, what a penalty. Frings is up next for Germany. He goes down the middle. The keeper nearly stayed there. Maniche. I don't know this guy. I'm not going to lie, but can he score? Yes, he can. Great penalty. Oh, that was the winner. Portugal are through to the next round. I didn't even realize. And our last quarterfinal will take place in... FIFA 17, where we were deep into sudden death in a meeting between Austria and Switzerland. But with Seferovic smacking the post on a must-score penalty, Switzerland's time was up and Austria was our last nation to make it to the semi-finals. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to your final four nations. And with a new knockout round comes a new twist. This time the wheel will be spun as normal before the game. However, at half time, the wheel will be spun once more to decide in which game the second half will take place. And the first half of Spain versus Italy will take place in FIFA 12. Iniesta into Xavi. Xavi to Xavi Alonso. What's he gonna do? Still Xavi Alonso. Finds David Villa down the line. Who cuts inside? Can he have a shot? He does indeed, but the ball just goes wide. Xavi Alonso into David Villa. Cuts inside. Back to Xavi Alonso, to Busquets, to Iniesta, Iniesta has a gap, has a strike, and that is 1-0 to Spain. Spain doing what they do best, being patient on the ball, waiting for an opportunity to arise, and just like that, they are 1-0 up. Now 39 minutes on the clock, how will the Italians reply to that? Uh-oh, David Villa missed that, and now they have a crossing opportunity, Maggio puts the ball into the box, oh, and the header just goes wide. Italy back in possession, and they have literally got additional time left to somehow find an equalizer. They missed that fantastic chance through that header, but can they create something here in the dying seconds of this first half? Here we go. Pirlo into Montolivo. Montolivo, Cassano, will he have a strike? He does indeed, but it's straight at Casillas. How did Italy not find an equalizer in the end of this first half? Now the question is, where will the second half be played? The answer? FIFA 22. Five minutes of the second half have been played. Not much has happened so far, but now we have Oyarzabal, who finds Pedri. Pedri running through the midfield. Still Pedri. Pedri still on the ball. What's he going to do here? Finds Morata. Morata has a strike, and Spain have already doubled their lead six minutes into the second half. This is not looking good for the Italians. And now Verratti with a long ball down the left wing. Pellegrini. Beautiful touch. Still Pellegrini gets blocked, but he still has the ball. Pellegrini finds his teammate in the box, who has a strike, but what a great save from Kepa. And now just under 20 minutes left for Italy to get two goals if they somehow want to get back into this game. Oh, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. They have actually just got one back. The Italian dream is still alive. And now Oyarzabal down the left-hand side. I don't think Spain were too happy about conceding that goal because they are already on the attack. Pulls it back to Pedri. Pedri into Merino. Merino, Morata with a skill, a strike, and that is 3-1. How long did Italy think they were back in this game? Literally three minutes. And now it looks like Spain are going to be doing the row the boat celebration, telling Italy we are off on our way to the final. And the first half of Portugal versus Austria will take place in FIFA 16. There he is, the man himself. Will he carry his nation to the final or will the underdogs Austria somehow make it through? Nearly 20 minutes on the clock and literally nothing has happened up to this moment. Hopefully that can somehow change here. Portugal with the ball. Uh-oh, first time pass over the top. Coentrao into Eder. Eder with a strike and that is 1-0. The man who saved them in the Euro 2016 final steps up again to put his nation in the lead. Coentrao. Out to Eliseu, back to Coentrao. This is beautiful combination play. Here we go, Coentrao, down the left-hand side, ball into the box, but it does not connect with Ronaldo. Now, I'm pretty sure the Austrians haven't even registered a shot on target so far, and it looks like they're just happy keeping possession. I don't know why. Oh, no, they're not. Arnautovic with a strike, but it just goes wide, and that looks like that is all the first half holds. And the second half will take place in FIFA 22. Bernardo Silva, down the right wing. What's he going to do? Pulls it back to Brun Fernandes, who loses the ball. And now Austria could potentially start a counter-attack here if they play this right. Baumgartner has space in front of him. Pulls it back to Xavier. Xavier, Sabitzer, first time pass to Baumgartner. Here we go. Down the left-hand side. What's he going to do? 
pulls it back, Sabitza, and now to reach first time shot, and what a save from Rui Patricio. Now I'm not gonna lie, Portugal have been absolutely horrible this whole game. I don't think they even created one good chance. But hold on a minute, Ronaldo finds Diogo Jota in space. What's he gonna do? Heel to heel flick, cuts inside, Diogo Jota intercepted by Alaba. And now Austria with potentially the last attack of this game to find an equalizer. What are they going to do? They're taking their time on the ball. There's no need to rush. They still have two minutes on the clock. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Sabitzer. Arnautovic. Turns. Has a strike. And they have actually got an equalizer. The scenes are crazy right now. Well, extra time it is. Wait, why did Silva take kickoff? Does that mean they subbed off Ronaldo? There is no way they just subbed off Ronaldo. Well, I guess time will tell if that was a 1000 IQ play or if the manager is going to get sacked after this game. Bernardo Silva whips one in. Can a Portuguese header get on it? I think it did, but I think that's another corner. Wait, what's he giving? No way, did he just give a penalty? Was that a handball? Where is the replay? Here we go. I can't even see properly, but I think that was a handball. And to add to the drama, Ronaldo's replacement is taking this penalty. Andre Silva, this is all in your hands. He scores it. Portugal are back in the lead. Now the Austrians have managed to find an equalizer once, but can they somehow find one again? Hold on a minute. What are they cooking here? Beautiful skill from their number nine. Sabitzer finds him again. Cuts inside. Lays it off. What are they doing? Has a strike. Oh my goodness. What a save from Rui Patricio. And now this is going to be their last opportunity. David Alaba standing over a corner. They must make this count. Looks like a good delivery. Headed away by Pepe. And now can they do something from here? Hold on a minute. Oh wow. What a clutch tackle from Ruben. And now that looks like that is game done and dusted. The referee will blow his whistle anytime now. And there it is. Spain versus Portugal will be the final of the past and present Euros. And now this is where things get real interesting. Because for the final, both nations will now consist of their best players throughout their history. Here we go. Ronaldo. What is he going to do? Can we see some skills? Shields the ball well. Finds Deco. Deco has a strike. And Casillas denies him with a great save. And now Rui Costa standing over the free kick. Corner, free kick? Why would I say a corner? No, why would I say it? Oh, I'm head loss. I'm head loss, man. Eusebio. What is he going to cook here? A few body feints. Still Eusebio. Finds Ronaldo. Ronaldo, back inside. Deco, what's he going to do? Oh my goodness, what a last ditch tackle from, I believe, that was Sergio Ramos. Ronaldo. Gives it back to Thiago. Finds Ronaldo. Hold on. Here we go. Eusebio. Is this going to be 1 0? Casillas somehow denies them again. Portugal are on absolute fire right now. Spain are digging deep. Spain looking to create their first chance of this game. Hold on a minute. Raul, a few body feints. Dispossessed by Pepe. But Spain have it again. Sergio Busquets, what was given? A free kick. Spain have got a free kick right on the edge of the box. And Iniesta is the one who says, I'm taking this. Is this where we potentially see the opening goal of this final? Andres Iniesta hits the wall. Has an opportunity for another strike. Baja, what a great save. And Fernando Torres collects it. What's he going to do now? Works his way into the box. Fernando Torres, can he have a strike? No, he does not. That is great defending from the Portuguese. Eusebio, what's he going to do? Finds Rui Costa. Has a strike. And that is 1-0. What a fantastic finish from Portugal's number 10. Now, how will Spain respond to this? We all have space in front of him. Raul with a darting run. Torres supports as well. Torres gets it. What's going to happen now? Torres. Fernando Torres has a... He tried to. He just tried to recreate Rui Costa's Trevella. Eusebio with the boy on his feet. Still Eusebio finds Figo. Figo has got a man in space. Oh, is he going to go alone? Figo to double the lead. And that is 2-0 to Portugal. What a burst of pace from Figo. And what a fantastic finish that was. This Portuguese team has no mercy. Here we go. Portugal could potentially make it 3-0 here. Paulo Futre squares it. And that is 3-0. Portugal are absolutely destroying Spain right now. I literally can't believe this Spain team is getting slapped up this badly. 10 minutes left on the clock for Spain to somehow get three goals, man. Even if they somehow get one here, I can't see this comeback happening. Xavi, Torres, Torres, hold on a minute. They they've got one back. They have got one back. The dream could potentially be on. I know I just said that I don't think it's going to happen, but it could happen. But sadly for Spain, that did not happen, which means Portugal are officially crowned as champions of the past and present Euros. 
And if you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you'll enjoy this one right here as well.